sorry about that. It's okay. Well, I think it sucks for you. Don't think you can pull, you can come over here with that beard and just crack me, Roy. I remember who you were season one and season two. Okay, uh, let me stop playing. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just Nora, a black girl, but you can call me Yasmin because it's my mama named me. Anyway, today I am back for another episode of The Office. I want to say this is episode, this is season three, episode 15 for your girl, but let me make sure. First, y'all know I like to refresh my memory about what happened last time, just a little bit. Uh, whoa. But first, y'all know I like to refresh my memory just a little bit about what happened last time. Last time episode was called Being Franklin. Okay, I thought I was gonna get a history lesson on Being Franklin, but that really wasn't even the point. Phyllis is about to get married to the refrigerator guy. Michael wanted to throw an in-office bachelor party for him that was gonna only be about 30 minutes, but you know how Michael get down. Michael wasn't thinking about no scrippers. You know, he had put the party together. He was really excited about it. Wasn't even thinking about no scrippers until Todd Packer showed up and told Michael, like, what's a bachelor party without scrippers? So, so that got into Michael's mind. Oh, let me get some scrippers. So he put Jim and he put Jim and the white on the job. The white looks for the woman, except Jim didn't look for no male scripper. He got like a Ben Franklin impersonator to come, and that's where the Ben Franklin came into all of it. That was about all that happened last episode. Really didn't much go on. It was just it seemed like just like a fun episode. I mean, all the episodes were fun, but it seemed like that episode was just like a fun episode. There wasn't really no big problems going on or nothing like that, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna move on. Uh, next episode. The next episode is called. I mean, the episode I'm on now is called Phyllis's Wedding, and y'all know I like to do a little guessing, so Phyllis about to get married. That's my guess, duh. So I really don't have a huge guess. I just know Phyllis about to get married by the title, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Patreon people, this will be up on the Patreon. Y'all will probably be seeing it before I even get to editing and put it on YouTube, but whatever. I've already done too much talking. We're about to get into this episode. In school, it was an alto, it was it. Who trained dogs to salivate at the sound of a bell by feeding them whenever a bell rang. So, for the past couple of weeks, I've been conducting a similar experiment. Altoid? Sure. Thank you, The wife is so gullible and be falling for anything. What are you doing? He looking for his Altoid. Always the bridesmaids, right, ladies? Okay, for this next one, everybody hop out. Just Phyllis and Dad. <laughs> Phyllis is getting married. Yay! And I'm in the wedding party. Oh, look at her. She's asked me to push her father's wheelchair down the aisle. I pay her salary. It is like I am paying for the wedding, which I'm happy to do. It's a big day for Phyllis. But it's an even bigger it's day. It's Phyllis's day, Michael. Yes. I put Michael in my wedding. Why, Phyllis? It's the only way I could think to get six weeks off from my honeymoon. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, Phyllis, I see you. Hello, Angela. Hi, Dwight. You look as beautiful as the Queen of England. No. Don't linger. Right, left. Oh. I just hate how they gotta left. do this, but I I can't wait till they can be loud and proud about their love. They could be out in the open with it. Do you wanna talk about tonight? <sighs> no. Because I know you're probably worried about pleasing Bob. A lot of pressure. He sat there and passed gas. You might be surprised to learn that I have only been to one other wedding. I'm not surprised at all. My mom was marrying Jeff, and they asked me to be ring bearer, and somehow my pants became wet. I hate you! There's too many people on this earth. We need a new plague. These people. <laughs> you know what? I bet a lot of them are wedding crashers. No way. Once again, Jim. I will take care of this. Does the white ever not think, okay, maybe Jim is playing with me. Maybe, maybe this is a game. <laughs> Why is he always on go? Where'd you find her? At the gym. The gym. <laughs> maybe he did find her at the gym, kid. But you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. Hmm. I look really good in white. Now, Kelly, you know you're wrong for this. I am going to be better. 
can't believe I'm actually doing He's this. about to ruin this. He's about to ruin this. That's my dress. Lovely <laughs> said, well, you ain't gonna use it. And you ain't gonna use these ideas you came up with. I might as well. Michael! He's trying to get up and walk down his daughter. Come on now. Come on. Just sit the bed back down. <laughs> he tried to sit the bed back down. Me walking Phyllis down the aisle was supposed to be the highlight of the wedding. Okay, Michael, you got too much dip on your chips, sir. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the first time as a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bob Mann. Michael. If you ever lay a finger on Phyllis, I will kill you. You are not her dad, and Michael. Phyllis, I'll kill you. Exactly. Agreed. Oh, decided to sit down again, huh? <laughs> Great. Are you all right? This is she so really awkward. wore white to this woman's wedding. Well, this was supposed to be your wedding. <sighs> oh, um, if I was you, I would just like freak out and get really drunk and then tell someone I was pregnant. Okay. A lot of good ideas. Thanks. The bride and groom. What are their names? Oh, I I don't. The white lead is old man alone. You gotta find yourself another wedding to crash, my friend. Oh. <sighs> we also played our basis. Oh, plan. she okay. She got Kevin band. Okay, okay. I forgot Kevin was in the band. He is old and has brown eyes and dementia. His family is very concerned. And that's who the white put out. Where did he take that man to? Phyllis just stole all of my ideas for our wedding. So what are you going on about, Roy? Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Well, I think it sucks for you. Don't think you can pull, you can come over here with that beard and just crack me, Roy. I, I remember who you were season one and season two. Oh my lord. Oh my. The seemingly impossible love story of our time. My name is Michael Scott. Okay, Oscar's there. I feel like I, I be barely seeing him now. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Michael Scott, Phyllis's boss. He is ruining their wedding. Phyllis and Bob, their celebrity couple name would be Flob. <sighs> but back in high school, I swear, her nickname was Easy Rider. Michael! Come on, man. He works. Okay. Everything can't be about you, Michael. You're out of here. Yeah, I'm, you're out of here. You're... I hate you! When are we going to get to see some of those famous Beasley dance moves? <laughs> I just know Cameron somewhere in the distance watching. She shouldn't have to sit back and watch these two in the act if she is when she could just leave Jim because I wouldn't be with him. Hypothetically, if I thought Pam was interested, then... You would go for it, wouldn't you? No, it's totally hypothetical. When the worst wind... He sold it. Come on, y'all. Make something happen. I've been waiting so long for Pam and Jim. I just don't know no more. He sold it. They gave very much love and basketball right there. Look at this fool out here. Hey. This is not who I'm looking for, but Pam needs somebody tonight, I guess. Nigga, I'm trying to stir something up. Dance. We're trying to get her, trying to get this woman back, and I could respect it, but no. She can't spend the black on Roy. What about Jim? Come on. This. And they gonna dance outside like this. Okay, this is so romantic. It is. Oh, Like, Michael always try to make me feel bad for him, but why would he be acting like this at these, at these people's wedding? Now he's gonna be sitting outside singing to himself, trying to make me feel all bad. Hey, you wanna get out of here? Yeah. Whatever you think it is, it is, I see. I can't deal with the stolen looks no more. I just can't. Go out there and stop her, Jim. I'm really happy I'm with Karen. Every little thing mm. I can't keep wanting something for them that they don't want for themselves. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> just want Phyllis to have a great day. Okay, he found his way back there. That's good. Phyllis and you will be great. Together. This man don't even know where he is. I just wanted to make us a day to remember. He's cutting the glass. Yeah. Okay, there you go, Michael. There goes something for you. 
Be careful with the bar. Oh, no! Oh! Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I just finished season three, episode 15 of the office called Phyllis's Wedding. Michael, 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 Michael. I don't get it. Why is Michael like that? I just. But at this point, I just accept Michael for who he is. You know, Phyllis already threw him a bone when she was like, you can push my daddy down the aisle. I'm pretty sure that's something she did not want to do, but she did it anyway. Do you know how long Phyllis' daddy probably been keeping to himself that he can like walk? Because I don't think he could just walk real good. I think he could just walk a few steps. You know how long that man probably been practicing it? And like, okay, I'm going to walk for my little girl's wedding. I'm going to walk for my little girl's wedding. I'm going to walk her on down the aisle for Michael to try to push that man back down. That's crazy for Michael to try to sit that man back down. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That was insane. <laughs> that was insane. Phyllis got married. I'm so happy for her. I like Phyllis. I think Phyllis might be my favorite the office character. I just like her aura. I just like her. So Phyllis, I'm deeming Phyllis as my favorite character. So yeah, I love Phyllis. So I'm so glad our girl got married. I'm happy for her. Um, She basically stole all of Pam's wedding plans. But I mean, he ain't like Pam was about to use them, so... I ain't even mad at Phyllis. Ain't like Pam was gonna use them, so. Anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for being here. You ain't gotta be here, but you are. That's amazing. You are amazing. Uh, as y'all can see, I got a camera that I'm trying to get used to. I went out and I purchased myself a camera. And I'm still trying to get used to it. So if I was always looking up at the camera doing the video, that's just because I'm trying to get used to this camera, this new camera I got. I'm, I normally film on my phone. Now I got a camera. This ain't gonna last a little different for you, girl. And I'm just trying to get used to it. Just a little different. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna run that back. If you made it this far, thanks for being here. You gotta be here, but you are. That's amazing. You are amazing. I will definitely see y'all in the next episode of The Office. Bye.